from a standpoint looking at wins and losses, it was definitely an improvement, but I'm not satisfied. I'm, I'm not happy with where we finished up in the A-10, um, but I think LaSalle baseball is definitely trending up. We're on the right path. Um, we saw a lot of, a lot of amazing accomplishments this year from individuals, you know, Ben Fazzo, uh, Tatum Levins being A-10 Rookie of the Year. Um, Connor Hinchliffe with a one year as a, as a relief pitcher, breaking the record for saves. Uh, a lot of great things happening, but from a coaching standpoint, you can never be satisfied with what, where this team's heading. We've, we've got to continue to do better things um, so that next year we have to set higher goals, setting goals, you know, improving in the A-10. Next year, you know, we're very young. Um, you know, I think at the start of this year, we were starting, if I'm correct, maybe four or five freshmen. Uh, but we, to add on to that, we, we had a lot of unfortunate injuries. Our, our Friday pitcher got hurt midway through the season. You know, our starting left fielder, I just had a double hernia operation. Um, you know, as, as, as unfortunate as it is, my starting catcher getting hit by a car coming out of study hall. All little things that if they didn't happen, you know, who knows where this season would have would ended, ended up. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. And we have to continue to grow and we have to continue to get better uh, in every facet of the game. You know, um, we need to be better pitching. Uh, we need to be better in conference hitting. We need to um, understand, you know, what we're doing in every asset of, uh, you know, scoring with runners and on third with less than two outs. Little things like that. We just have to continue to get better. Um, I am extremely excited about the summer with the players coming in in the fall and the players that are still reaching out to us looking at coming into the program in the future. So um, I, I can't be more excited about where the program's going, but I'll never be satisfied with what we have. 25 wins is a good start. But I think we handed away some games we should have won. And at the end of the day, you know, you, you know I, I think there's probably another 10 to 15 wins that's still in there. Uh, that could have been this year. And we're going to get, we've got to continue to grow so that next year we don't, we don't blow a 5-1 lead. We don't blow a 7-3 lead in the seventh inning. We've got to close these games. We've got to figure out what we're doing every day to continuously get better. I think one of the big things that we're going to have to focus on in the offseason is our, our strength and conditioning plan. We've really got to get these guys so that once we hit our midseason stride and once we get into the Atlantic 10 that we're not tiring. Um, I've kind of seen that over the last two years where um, we get off to gangbusters start and you know we'll beat a, a 40 win team like a New Mexico State um, but then when we get into the A-10 we go through that dead arm period so I think we have to find a way to better our endurance better our conditioning get stronger um, do a better job long tossing so that our kids are fresh once we hit that A-10 uh, I mean you know it's not easy to, to rely on a freshman to be your Friday starter, which we did in Aiden Fry. Um, I, that will only help us down the road now that he's an experienced Friday guy. Here's a guy that can come in, step up, we know, in big game situations and get the job done. Uh, but when he went down, it was the same. We, we had to throw a sophomore lefty uh, who had some control issues as a freshman to be our Friday guy, and he stepped up and did an amazing job. But now here's a guy that has to take his offseason very seriously and really get stronger, um, you know, get in better shape and then try to go out this summer and pitch in the NECBL uh, and get outs when he's playing against ACC and SEC type players. Um, but I have 11 pitchers coming in in the fall, you know, so it's, we're, if you're talking about young, we're going to be even younger next year because we're now going to we're going to fire 11 freshmen into the into the you know whether it's into the rotation the bullpen or midweek starters you know it's just it's crazy how this is going to play out but I'm excited about it um, but I think that's the one thing that we're really we really need to develop next year is is having a team goal of keeping 
a team ERA and keeping opposing opponents under four runs. If we can do that, we're going to win a lot of games. And I think we're on the right path. I think we now have some veteran leaders on the on the mound and Matt Holt, Nico Jenkins, you know, Colin Scanlon will now be a junior. Um, these are Colin Kennedy, you know, he had a great improvement from his freshman to his sophomore year. We need him to come back as a junior leader and kind of take the take the pitching staff under his wing and and set lead by example. You know, no one can outwork my pitching staff next year. Um, and when we when we work on developing our pitchers, um, they've got to be ready to go 56 games. So I think that that'll be the big goal that this offseason is really, really focusing on the staff. For me, getting guys to understand um, what they're doing at the plate, they got to have a plan and they got to have a purpose. Um, knowing when to swing away, knowing when to um, get a job done as simple as moving a runner over, but also at the same aspect, thinking outside the box and knowing maybe even to such uh, something as simple as a left-handed hitter with nobody, with a runner on second base and nobody out, knowing what pitch you're going to get and go against the odds of trying to move the guy over and drive the ball in the left field. It's about teaching these guys, you know, how to hit, um, but instill confidence and trust that we're going to let them go out and play the game. You know, not, you know, early in the game, give them a chance to drive the runs in instead of dropping down a bunt. Giving these guys the ability to get on base and not tell them when to steal, but let them run on their own. Um, all stuff that we try to harp on in practice. Um, and then once it comes to game time, us as coaches sitting back and letting the kids play. I mean, it's something as simple as, uh, I think people were telling me that we've had nine players in school history driving 50 runs, but we, we had two guys do, do it this year alone. Um, that's putting confidence in your hitters and, and having a senior leader do it in Ben Fazo, but also have a freshman young kid in Tatum Levins do it. So you're, you're, you're allowing your older guys who are your experienced a10 players and yet we were incorporating them with the future and guys just understanding going out there and doing it and then doing it. Uh, Peyton Sorrell stealing 24, 25 bags this year, um, but also scoring 45 to 50 runs. Having, I think Peyton was close to 80 hits, I'm not sure if he got there, but I mean that's something that in a 56 game season, that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big accomplishment. Um, but then also understanding that we, we win 25 games, but from the pitching standpoint, uh, still having a kid get 13 saves with only 25 game, with 25 wins. So um, putting the trust in your starters, putting the trust in your offense to get a lead, but then understanding that even your middle relievers have to get get those zeros to get to to get to that spot where Connor can come in and close a game. And we weren't trying to give Connor saves. It just it just always seemed to fall in his lap. And Connor was dominant in late innings for us all year long. You know, he's he's a kid that, you know, give him two years on the mound and who knows where he'll be because this is his first year really pitching. So um, I'm excited about where the team went. Um, you know, I always set goals for us from an offensive standpoint. You know, I, I look at 500 hits as a benchmark for an offense, and I think we accomplished 500 hits this year. You know, I, I want to accomplish 100 doubles, 250 walks, you know, but, I, I, you know, our strikeouts were high, so I want to, that'll be something that I focus on next year is lowering our strikeouts. Um, power numbers were up this year uh, because I thought we brought in a team that really was young, hungry, and can drive the ball over the fence. Um, but I also, when I look back, I want to I want to bring in more speed. I want to I want to have a mixture of speed and power. I want to steal a lot of bases, but I want to hit. I want to be able to have a three-run inning on one swing of the bat. All things that I that that we want to teach in in practice, but get guys to translate it into games. And I think we did a pretty good job this year, two years now of of advancing the offense. Um, but now we've got to work on really advancing the pitching.